Welcome back to the big board. September 1st, German turn. September 1st and 41. I'm going to try and recap uh, because I think I'm going to have to delete a bunch of video. Uh, so I'm going to do a slightly longer video. It'll probably be five or six minutes if I can uh, encapsulate uh, accurately what was going on. So the, the long and the short of all this is that uh, the Commonwealth forces were surrounded and a pocket, uh, made, and two pockets were made. One, uh, a larger pocket around Mercer Matru, and then a, a, a smaller one, but with a significant number of forces, all of these guys here, uh, here. And basically what happened was, uh, after a couple of lucky rolls and uh, uh, you know, good one-two punch action, uh, we managed to capture this hedgehog and used Rommel in a combat and took the chance and was successful with using him to get the uh, benefit on the AR roll, which gave us a surprise modifier, which then allowed us to have our successful attack and then follow through exploit movement. And we ended up all the way over here. Uh, however, that wasn't uh, a long-term uh, successful solution, but it did force the Commonwealth to adjust their forces and where they were pressing, but they refused to back off on uh, a significant counterattack. And fortunately, I had, uh, as the German player, had uh, artillery in reserve and managed to DG uh, and inflict uh, two step losses on uh, forces here. Uh, it was a uh, massive roll because there were six re in that hex. And yes, I know, you're not supposed to do that. But uh, we did because we were desperate. And desperate time calls for desperate measures, blah, 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 blah. Now, uh, uh, I then went through the exercise of looking at whether or not it was worthwhile because these guys were pocketed and, and out of supply to uh, uh, do a breakout. I went through that exercise, did all the calculations, rolled all the dice, and then uh, had another look at the attrition table and realized that, that you have a higher percentage chance of surviving an attrition roll as a Commonwealth player with a lot of these units because they all have uh, uh, quite good action ratings, they're all uh, typically fours. And uh, when you go and roll on the breakout table, uh, even with the plus one DRM, that only brings you to a 50-50 chance of, being, uh, of not being eliminated. And then you have the penalty of being off the map for a period of time until you come back as a reinforcement as a result of the breakout. So, I moved all these pieces off and changed a bunch of stuff and figured, you know what, I really should stay, not do the breakout, and just take attrition rolls. So I put everything back where it was. One of the side benefits of having uh, you know, fairly detailed notes and uh, pictures. Uh, got everything pretty much correct. <coughs> and while I was doing that, I realized there was also an opportunity to attack along this road here. And although it exhausted my ammo, I managed to uh, create a, a breach here in the pocket and was trying to set myself up to be successful as a Commonwealth player in the second turn of the month, uh, bringing everyone back in supply. German activation uh, follows the uh, Commonwealth activation in the first turn of the month. And of course, they realize that they have this problem here since they lost yet another battalion of units. It's been a very heavy losses for the last three turns. And so if this doesn't all work out for the Germans, then the Germans are going to have to roll very well on their packs uh, replacements. So uh, they counted and, uh, counted and uh, delivered uh, supply here via Crete, because we have control of Crete. And we put uh, a bunch of tea in here, enough to uh, uh, mobilize uh, one, uh, in fact, two, uh, one, one armored uh, battalion and an uh, infantry regiment underneath there, and then keep three, uh, three T in reserve for the supply phase. <coughs> that was an unsuccessful attack. And uh, we actually uh, lost a unit. We then uh, meandered uh, the L, the five LEs truck up and uh, sucked some supply off to them. They uh, overran uh, a unit here and then uh, sat uh, sat still. Put that pushed these units back to here, DGing that stack. It was a uh, O2 result. 
So they uh, retreated, their balance, their forces retreated, and they, uh, I think, exhausted from, yeah, they're exhausted as well. So, uh, you know, created quite, quite a mess. And then we managed now, we've managed to filter some forces down into here. So we we're reinforcing this line. These guys we've left alone. These guys we've left alone, even though they're all quartered. It was very tempting to try and do some attacks, but we didn't do that because we really don't have enough supply to go do that. Uh, uh, this is a British commander with a fairly strong force uh, here. He's got low ammo. Uh, the HQ is over here, so they can't throw supply, so he's got to be in range. So we've got to try and truck stuff over to him. Unfortunately, the truck stack, the stack of trucks here, where is it here? Uh, you know, they're all uh, divisional, uh, which is not helping these guys here, which are discrete. Uh, I think they're all discrete units. And if they're not, the truck's not there. The truck's off in the Middle East somewhere. Uh, so it's just been a debacle, and it's been very entertaining and uh, lots of puzzles to be solved. And I can uh, I can feel and see the flavor of the action going on here as uh, tanks stream across the battlefield and regiments march and uh, people attack and counterattack, and it's uh, desperate times uh, for all uh, excuse me for all involved. So that's six minutes of uh, video on what's going on. Uh, hopefully that encapsulates everything. Uh, it got a little confusing because we did uh, go through the breakout exercise and then recant we recanted on that and said, you know what, we really should just do the attrition thing. And really because I just didn't want to end the game because if I, I had have done the breakout, uh, the way the die rolls worked out, 75% of all the reinforcements that were going to come back onto the board were coming back uh, five or six turns later, which meant that I would have had to hold uh, Egypt, uh, hold Africa, basically this part of Africa, North Africa, with uh, four or five brigades and a handful of uh, artillery units and, uh, and, and three, three angry, angry guys and uh, jeeps. So uh, a brutal exercise, but we went back and reconstructed it all and we're continuing on uh, from there. All right, we'll talk to you soon. And this is uh, the end of uh, September 1st. 41.